democracy. So in part of the scenario of understanding leadership, the key is to not be surprised when the inevitable occurs. Because if you become too surprised, we will call you naive. <laughs> if the sun goes down, the guy says, what's happened, what's happened? It means he hasn't been here long, I guess, right? Or the guy is naive. Come on, come on. There are some things you don't want to look surprised, especially in public. If you say, why did John do that? You say, come on, come on. About so many, after so much time, are going to. And it's very sobering as to why some have chosen to give themselves over to evil. And we call it simply one of those things. But the key to leadership is to understand. And the key to leadership is to also be alert and be bright enough to spot it and to see it. All good leaders must understand the story of the frog and the scorpion. It's one of the most important stories for a leader to understand. According to the story of the frog and the scorpion, the story scenario says, the frog and the scorpion appeared on the bank of a river about the same time, and the frog was about to jump in the river and swim to the other side. And along comes the scorpion, and he sees what's about to happen, and he engages the frog in conversation, and the scorpion says to the frog, Mr. Frog, I see that you're about to jump in the river and swim to the other side. And the frog said to the scorpion, that is correct. And the scorpion said, hey, hey, hold it. I would like to get to the other side, but unfortunately I'm a scorpion and I can't swim. Would you be so kind as to let me hop on your back and you swim across the river and deposit me on the other side? I would be grateful. And the frog looked at the scorpion and said, no way. The frog said, you're a scorpion. And scorpions sting frogs and kill them. He said, I'd get out there halfway with you on my back and you'd sting me and I'd die. You think I'm crazy? No way. The scorpion said, hey, hey, hold it, hold it. With your frog brain, you're not thinking. <laughs> if I was to sting you out there halfway, sure, you'd die and drown, but so would I, since I'm a scorpion and I can't swim. That'd be kind of foolish. So I'm not about to do that. I just want to get to the other side. The frog thought over that reasoning and said, that makes sense, hop on. And according to the story, the scorpion hops on the frog's back, they start across the river, and sure enough, halfway across the river, the scorpion stings the frog. They are now both about to go down for the third time. The frog cannot believe <laughs> what happened. And he said to the scorpion, why did you do that? I'm about to die and drown, but so are you. Why would you do that? And the scorpion said, because I am a scorpion. So all leaders must understand the story of the frog and the scorpion. There are shepherds and there are sheep and there are wolves and wise Leaders must understand some wolves are so clever, they've learned to dress up like sheep. But do not miss the story of the full drama of life called good and evil. It's part of the test of leadership skill, awareness, sensitivity, understanding, knowing the scenario and being on the alert for what is called the inevitable.